it's our wits that make us men. We fight them! Every nobleman who had a will to fight was at that meeting! We cannot beat an army! But with the 50 farmers, we can re- And we do not have to beat them! Just fight them. Your heart is free. Have the courage to follow her. It's a bit sudden, but all right. Is that what you call a proposal? I love you. Always have. I want to marry you. The assault on the King's soldiers is the same as an assault on the King himself. from our lands in the north. I will gain English favor by condemning it. If you make enemies on both sides of the border, you'll end up dead. You're so concerned with squabbling for the scraps from Longshank's table that you've missed your God-given right to something better. Now tell me, what does that mean? Your title gives you claim to the throne of our country. But men don't follow titles. They follow courage. Now, our people know you, noble and common, they respect you. And if you would just lead them to freedom, they'd follow you. But he fights with passion, and he inspired. They fought for William Wallace, and he fights for something that I've never had. And I took it from him when I betrayed him, and I saw it in his face on the battlefield. And it's tearing me apart. What a belief, as he does. I will never be on the wrong side again. I'm not a man! If I risk my neck for you, would I get a chance to kill Englishmen? You fight for me, you get to kill the English. Excellent! I want to live. I want a home and shelter and peace. Do you? I do. I've asked God for those things. That's all for nothing if you don't have freedom. I'm dreaming. Yes, you are. And you must wake. Countrymen, here in defiance of tyranny. You 
come to fight as free men. And free men you are. What will you do without freedom? Will you fight? Fight and you may die. Run. You'll live. At least a while. I'm dying in your beds many years from now. Would you be willing to train all the days from this day to that for one chance, just one chance, to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! <laughs> Lower your flags and march straight back to England, stopping at every home you pass by to beg forgiveness for a hundred years of theft, rape, and murder. Do that, and your men shall live. You stand in taint of high treason. Against whom? Against your king. Have you anything to say? Never in my whole life did I swear allegiance to him. Before he lost his powers of speech, he told me his one comfort was that he would live to know Wallace was dead. Do you confess? I have come to beg for the life of William Wallace. I come to beg you to confess all and swear allegiance to the king that he might show. I swear to him that all that I am is dead already. Scotsman and won their freedom. 